Are you guys tired of using Shimano SPD pedals? I've been using these for quite a while and in this uh, pandemic times, chances are not necessarily that you are sick of them, but you can't really find them. But uh, you know what? Luke is giving us some options. And in this video, I'm gonna take a quick look at the Extract Race carbon pedals. And because these loop pedals are pretty much the equivalent of a uh, regular XT SPD, I have a set of uh, 8100s here, so the later generation. So let's see these side by side. The 8100s from Shimano are the race pedals and they are designed for cyclocross and cross country. And the loop carbons are designed for cross country as well. Some of their marketing, uh, their feather light, 170 grams per. They have a large surface area and the body of these is made out of carbon. Yes, these are MTB clipless pedals and here on the side, they're gonna tell you what's in the box. Surprise, surprise, you get two pedals and two cleats and Luke calls them extra cleat. The beauty of these ones is that they are fully compatible with the Shimano cleats. So what they're calling here um, SH-51 single release cleat, that would be the equivalent of their X-Truck cleats. If you're new to SPD or cleats, I always recommend to start with these multi-release cleats, the SH-56, the silver ones. And again, those would be fully compatible with the Luke pedals and look has their own multi-release, they would be called Extract Easy Cleat. If you like digital information, just scan that QR code to get to their site. However, if you just flip this over, you're gonna get pretty much everything you need to know here on the back. Not only the series of pedals that they offer, and you can see their race pedals, they actually have quite a few, not just the carbon ones that I have here. They also have the trail versions of these, kind of uh, mimicking what Shimano is offering with the only caveat that Shimano only has one offering here and one offering here in the M8120s. Interestingly, even for warranty registration, you have a QR code here at one end of the box. Make sure you take full advantage of that. And as you slide this sleeve off, ta-da! Here is the two pedals. Again, QR codes everywhere and a clear mention that the cleats are underneath. On the Shimano's, yes, the tiny label tells you to use them only with uh, Shimano cleats. And if you take this out, here is a pair of cleats. Again, these are single release, the black ones, SH-51. The surface of these loop pedals is definitely bigger. I know Shimano usually calls this increase contact surface pretty much every generation they launch out there. In this case, they kind of aimed for that extra support here on the sides. You can see the contact patch here and here on the loop pedals, as opposed to this tiny spot in this area on the XTs. And underneath, you're gonna find a set of cleats these would be the equivalent of SH-51 single release cleats. Shimano's are all metal and they seem sturdy. I actually have a full video looking at these in details. Uh, I'm gonna link it up in the corner. As opposed to that, the look pedals feel plasticky because of all these uh, carbon body. Also, you have, this is a plastic plug, like a seal uh, here at the end. And the axle is actually pretty thick. Reminds me of the cheaper uh, Shimano 520s. So not bad looking otherwise. They seem to be clear in mud, probably similar to the Shimano's. You see the openings here all around uh, the mechanism. These axles roll on ball bearings. Both pedals have two ball bearings here inside. And they do seem pretty smooth straight out of the box. Shimano's also give you more information here on the spindle. That's nowhere to be found on the look pedals. Actually, I don't even know where these are manufactured because that's not written anywhere. Both of these use steel axles, but if I measure this axle length, I think the Shimano's are maybe three millimeters longer than the look pedals. Look at this. 
about three millimeters longer. So I don't know if that's going to matter to you. Uh, obviously, this would be a narrower Q factor. Uh, might be good for racing. I don't know if that would make such a big difference. Stack height of these pedals can be important. And we have 19.65 on the Luke. And the Shimano's are about 18.1. So 1.5 millimeters stack height difference between the two. I doubt you would uh, notice that in normal riding. Just like the Shimano's, you can use a three millimeter to adjust the cleat tension. And you have the clicking action. Again, this mechanism seems to be identical with the one used by the Shimano's. Always remember to adjust both sides of the pedal to the same number of clicks. And just like the Shimano's, they provide you with six degrees of float. So the ability of your shoe to move left and right a little bit without unclipping, which is very important for mountain biking. The Shimano race pedals plus a set of cleats is 398 grams. Without the cleats is 342 for the pair. The look feather light approach means 175 grams per pedal, so 350 for two. If I add the cleats, 405. So we're talking five grams between the Shimano's and these. So weight shouldn't be a deciding factor. Installation shouldn't be a deciding factor either because they are both installed the same way. Eight millimeter hex and uh, you're good to go. However, the Shimano's identify the uh, reverse threaded left pedal with these cuts right here at the very end of the spindle. I couldn't find that anywhere on the loop pedals. Actually, these are supposed to have an O here on the axle of the left pedal, which I couldn't find. But after you put some grease on the threads, just find the pedal that would thread onto your crank towards the front and that would be the left pedal. Both pedals will rotate towards the front like this when you're tightening them up. You can see this one, the left pedal, not being righty tighty, this is lefty tighty, okay? By the way, Luke recommends tightening these up to 24 newton meters, which is quite a bit less than what Shimano recommends. And after using the Luke pedals for this season, I can tell you that we absolutely love them. Also, compared to the Shimano's, they seem to keep the cleat better, especially when used with the multi-release cleats, the SH56. And I'm not talking about the cleat tension, but I'm talking about just the overall ability of these pedals just to uh, hold it better, especially on rough terrain, jumps, or things like that. So what do you guys think? Have you ever used Luke pedals or you're just sticking with the true untested Shimano's? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.